Both models of the Clubman carry over the power plants introduced last year on the hardtop Cooper and Cooper S. And this means that if there's one thing a potential mini owner doesn't have to worry about, it's performance. That's right, Tina. The Cooper Clubman features a 118 horsepower inline four cylinder engine that makes 114 pound feet of torque, giving it plenty of go straight from the line, but also staying true to Mini's heritage by offering unrivaled efficiency along with this performance. Mm -hmm. Unrivaled efficiency, that's putting it lightly, JT. <laughs> Even with all this gusto, the Cooper Clubman's power plant is expected to do exceptionally well in the fuel efficiency department. And on the other hand, the sporty Cooper S Clubman is on the receiving end of a 172 horsepower twin scroll turbocharged engine. And let me tell you, this motor can, well, uh, motor. With access to full torque at a mere 1600 RPMs, Cooper S Clubman owners can bang through the gears in no time with access to a torque curve that's tabletop flat. And this isn't even taking into account the overboost feature, which ups the torque to 192 pound-feet of torque for a brief burst when the accelerator is fully depressed, perfect for overtaking those non-motoring vehicles of the world. Absolutely. Both versions of the Clubman come standard with six-speed manual transmissions, but also offer six-speed automatics that are just as fun to drive thanks to steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. We call it Formula Mini. Hmm. Do we have Formula Mini? From a handling standpoint, you shouldn't even need to ask. The Clubman was born and raised Mini, which means its home is on those curvy back roads. That go-kart-like handling we know and love so much is alive and in full force thanks to McPherson front strut suspension and multi-link rear setup. And also a longer wheelbase coupled with a lower center of gravity offers a slightly more compliant ride with almost no sacrifice in the Clubman's go-kart-like handling. Exactly, so all the goodies are there to make sure that the Clubman behaves like the bad, twisty-loving, road-hugging, driving machine it was meant to be. Now, since many of the Clubman's performance features are carryovers that were debuted on the second-generation hardtop, you can check out the Spotlight module on the R56 to brush up on even more details of their shared performance aspects.